Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Happy Metal Tales. I'm your host, Steve Kitts. g welcome party. The sun hung low in the sky, casting a golden glow over Farmer Brown's barn as all of Happy Metal gathered to celebrate a special occasion. Inside the old wooden beams were decorated with colorful garlands of flowers, and the long tables were set with plates of Farmer Brown's famous apple pie. The barn was alive with the sound of laughter, exciting chatter, and the clinking of dishes. Today was a celebration unlike any other. A welcoming party for g the newest member of the meadow, and Royce's grandmother. Everyone had come together to make g feel at home. Robbie and Benny were the first to arrive, bouncing through the door with wide grins on their faces. Hey, Royce! Benny called out, waving his paw. We're ready for this big party. Royce smiled. His heart was full of happiness. Hey, thanks for coming. g is so excited to meet everyone. She's on her way here now, and she'll be here any moment. And the sounds of paws, and there was many sounds of people filling the barn as the animals from all corners of the meadow were on their way in. Flora the fox, Brom the bear... Even Grandpa Toad was there and holding a small gift to present to Grandma Bunny. Farmer Brown, always happy to help out, had opened the barn for the event and was busy setting up extra chairs for the growing crowd. Just as everyone settled down, g appeared in the doorway. She looked around, touched by all the warm smiles and the decorations strung up in her honor. Oh my, this is just wonderful, g exclaimed her eyes twinkling with joy. I've never had such a lovely welcoming. Robbie hopped up to her and grabbed her paw. We're so glad to have you here, G-Ma. In fact, we've all decided that you're not just Royce's g anymore. You're everyone's g The whole barn erupted with cheers and laughter as g face lit up with surprise and delight. Everyone's g she asked. Her heart was swelling with happiness. Yeah, that's right. Benny added, we think you're the best, and we'd love to adopt you as our very own g too. The animals in the barn nodded and cheered in agreement, each one excited with the idea of having a wise and caring g like her in their lives. Even Farmer Brown tipped his hat and gave her a warm smile. Tears of joy swelled up in g eyes. I don't even know what to say. This is the most wonderful thing I've ever heard. I'd be honored to be your G-Ma. Brom the bear stepped forward, holding a little bouquet of wildflowers. We couldn't let you just join the meadow without a proper celebration. Welcome to the family, G-Ma. Piggy nodded enthusiastically. And if you ever need anything, just ask. We're all here for you. And the party began in full swing. With the music filling the barn and the friends dancing together. As the evening rolled on, the animals took turns giving small speeches, telling stories, and welcoming g with open arms. They shared food, laughter, and the simple joy of being together as one big happy family. Royce watched from the sidelines, feeling prouder than ever. His g was not only loved by him, but by everyone in the meadow, and that filled him with warmth. Later, as the stars twinkled above the barn and the last piece of pie was eaten, g sat on the new swing, gently swaying back and forth. Robbie and Benny pushed her lightly as she laughed like a young bunny again. Thank you, my sweet friends, she said, smiling up at the night sky. You've given me the greatest gift. Benny grinned. Oh, we're just getting started, g You're special. Robbie added with a wink. Yeah, you're stuck with us now, g Welcome to the family. And so, g Bunny had a new life in Happy Meadow, and it began with love, laughter, and a warmth embrace of the entire Meadow community. The end.